Dash just released a demo on usernames and the way they're set up could be absolutely game changing for the way cryptocurrencies are used today. Since about 2015, Dash has been working on a project codenamed Evolution, now sort of called Dash Platform. The centerpiece of all this was supposed to be readable usernames to send and receive so you don't actually have to use those ugly long cryptographic addresses when sending and receiving cryptocurrency funds like everything has done before. There are a few other projects out there that have adopted something similar, but the way Dash is setting this up is pretty revolutionary in that you have a blockchain account and I got to drive home that account point because people all over the world are very used to setting up an account, like say their email account and even their other accounts are tied to their email in some way. They're used to just having one spot where they go in, have all their profiles and things like that. And with uh, cryptocurrency, since it's a decentralized network, this doesn't really shake out the same way. For security reasons, you're not supposed to reuse your seed words wherever you kind of plug them in. Typically, when you have a cryptocurrency, what you're supposed to do is back up the seed words, write them down with a pen and paper, and then that's good. And whenever you want to use a different wallet, say you get a different phone, or you want to use it on your computer, or you want to do whatever else, you get another set of seed words and you write them down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's why a lot of people use centralized services like say a Coinbase or something like that that someone else runs for you. You just have a login. You can call a representative if you have a problem, that kind of thing. Big difference with Dash is you have a central login. Like you don't just create a username in this wallet and then you have to still back up other wallets and do other things like that and then find a way to associate the same username. No, you create a username for Dash, not just the wallet for the whole network but it's still entirely decentralized. Everything is decentralized from putting up your username to your profile picture, to your little bio, to other details like that. It's all there. It's all on the network. You can't take it down. And yet you can just log in with this one thing. Imagine the game changing nature of just being able to say, hey, get a Dash account. And it's super easy. You get it and then you lose your phone, you lose whatever else. Basically you change devices. You wanna get use Dash on something else on a completely different wallet, a completely different provider that has nothing to do with the first one, and you just get your one Dash unified login, and no one else controls that. I know a few other projects have tried to do something similar. For example, um, with Bitcoin SV, there's something called Money Button, which basically connects a lot of the ecosystem, but it's still a centralized company. It still like runs everything. It's still a choke point and it's not protocol level. And this has the ability to have maximum decentralization with Dash and at the same time, maximum usability. So if you're sleeping on Dash, I suggest you don't anymore. Check out the full demo, check out future demos and wait for when you can register your own username and just see how simple that's going to be. This really will be crypto your grandma can use. <laughs>